what's good YouTube welcome back to the channel glad to have you guys back today we will be installing the Fox shocks on the 2020 lowrider s and uh, shocks is over there right there somewhere there I already opened it up uh, just to see if everything is good and it looks good I just went with the 13 uh, I didn't want it too tall because I'm short I'm about 5'7 so I just went with the 13 so yeah let's get started well first of all what you wanted to do is um, put the bike on stand or jack stand lift whatever uh, just enough for you to have uh, for you to uh, spin the tire and uh, you gotta be removing the seat and some other stuff inside so yeah let's get started yeah so anyways um, after you, you remove the seat we're gonna be removing this part right here there's gonna be some bolt here and then uh, this this part right here, this metal part, uh, I think it's some kind of bracket or whatever. So it's just gonna be two of them and then uh, a couple zip ties you gotta cut and then we go from there. Okay, now there's a zip tie over here, just gotta cut this off. Put that on the side for now, and then we gotta remove these two right here. Alright, so after you remove all those bolts and zip ties and whatever, you can just remove this and put this on the side for now. Next, we will be losing this bolt right here. so after that we have to remove this and this would be a three-quarter um, and then the other side would be I believe it's a t50 we'll see when we get there um, oh, well I end up using the jack handle that works <laughs> leave that for now and then uh, let's move on to the other side all right so on this side you will need the Torx 50 or T50 so. okay, time to remove the old shock I heard this gonna be the tricky one because uh, you, you have to like wiggle it out to get it out. Just be patient. There you go. Voila, it's out. Well, before we put it on, let's compare the two real quick. As you can see, that's the old one. This is the new Fox. Go put it on. All right, we are ready to put on the new shock, which is this. Just a tip: um, if you guys are having hard time putting this on, uh, what you wanted to do is um, just lift the bike up. Find it easier. And also, when putting the bolts, you might have to do the same. You might have to like lift the bike up or lower the bike. That helps a lot. Okay, it looks like we might have to lift the bike up. Oh, 
for this one I have to lower the bike because it's not lining up so yeah we have to do that The torque specs on these bolts are 65 foot pounds. Let's go tighten these up. Alright, move to the other side. Alright, so once that is done let's just go put back the, the brackets that goes here so yeah let's just do that again always double check i almost forgot that one bolt right there make sure you tighten that up yeah that should be good So there you have it guys, once you double check all the bolts and stuff, once you tighten those up, should be good. I can't try it out right now because it's raining. The weather here has been shitty so I can't try it out. So yeah, that's it guys. Again, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button and also like this video. Um, yeah, until next time.